obviously I'm really excited about um, an ACC win. And, um, you know, and I thought the things that we did in the third and fourth quarter, um, you know, were much better. I, I was really disappointed in the way we started the game. I thought we were really flat and, um, you know, and just got out rebounded, out hustled every part of it. And then our kids flipped a switch. And, you know, and that's what we've talked so much to this team about, about um, being able to, in those moments last year, we would just, you know, crater and couldn't come back. This is a group that has worked really hard on their ability to bounce back. And, uh, and I thought once our energy and, and our timeouts were really focused on being able to turn that, that then we were able to um, turn the game around. Uh, and, and so that for me is, you know, obviously I think the things that Day and um, uh, Jayla were able to do offensively, you know, gives us that extra punch. But, but then, I, you know, as I thought we were able to get some stops and, you know, and change up the defense and, um, uh, and force them into some hard shots that really were the difference in the game. And, you know, um, Cynthia's uh, progression is going to be a huge part of what we do. And, you know, and 11 boards and, you know, and just her defensive presence uh, making right decisions is, is going to be uh, pivotal for our long-term success. But, but overall, obviously extremely excited. Um, out rebounded them and that was our number one mission and, and there was a large part of the game where I didn't know if that was going to happen then we started making some plays and um, and then give us a chance to win question Lance for you just not just how you guys got the win but to do so as still a younger unit in relativity to the conference just how good of a win is that for such a young group of ladies that are still learning and just looking at it that way yeah, well, obviously every win that we can get grows our basketball team. And, you know, and that uh, for us is, you know, I thought we learned a lot against Virginia Tech of the type of team that we can be and, and play with anyone in our conference. And, you know, and then obviously to get a win uh, is, is, is huge motivation for these kids. And because uh, that's the thing that we have to do. We have to learn how to win. And, you know, we talked about that yesterday and, and today of that's, They've put in the work, they've committed to this process, and now they have to learn how to win and grind things out. And, you know, and that's why you always hate that this COVID year of, you know, you're having to do this against the best of the best in the ACC. Um, but at the same time, they're ready. They're ready for that. And, you know, and I think you can see uh, the potential in this group of what I really think that they're going to become once they uh, overcome this next piece of learning how to win. Lance, as they go, as you guys head out of the third quarter, it would have been easy down 14 to just pack it in and wait till the end of the quarter and reassess. For them to make an aggressive play, get to the free throw line and send that not give up message going into the fourth quarter, how much of a difference does that make? Uh, you know, it, it's all the difference. And that's what, you know, is so different where, you know, is that whenever I get into a huddle with these kids, they are locked in. They are locked into what we're trying to do, uh, you know, Obviously for us with young players, you're still dealing with that focus issue of listening to what we say and then going out on the court and performing it. And, you know, and so that's um, our next growth as well, but, uh, but they're with us. They're with this basketball team. They've worked extremely hard to um, uh, develop relationships quickly uh, that then translate to some um, uh, chemistry on the court that we still have to develop. But yeah, no, there's no question. And we're different. When you look at things, Lance, they went four for 19 from the field in the fourth quarter as well. So you didn't just get it done offensively. You also hit the hammer defensively. Just how important has that been to get that two-way quarter and find that consistency? Yeah, you know, that's what we just said after the game is, um, you know, is that we have to value defense and rebounding. No matter what our offense is doing, and we still let our offense dictate our defense. Whenever we start making shots, our, our defense improves, um, and, and we have to flip that you know, is that in, to be a NCAA tournament team, you have to defend possession after possession after possession, no matter what happens on offense. And, and we're growing in that, and we still have a lot of work to do. And, and, but these kids are committed to that process. Cynthia is someone that sat out last year, didn't play the first game this year, and you continue to see the progression just as a coach to see her progress, just how satisfying is that to see that growth and to see that confidence? Yeah, well, we were so excited whenever we recruited C because we think she's uh, she has a chance to be a pro, and you know, and that, um, and then to sit last year, and then she got hurt early on in this year, and but now to see 
all of that come um, uh, start to happen is really, really cool. You know, is that she's a smart basketball player, but she is a dominant rebounder and that's what she has to be. And, and you know, and she's still learning some of the style and now uh, she didn't get that same opportunity that they and AB uh, got last year. Now she's getting it firsthand and, and she's really gonna help us and really solidify the middle. You guys, Lance said, flip the switch going into the third and the fourth quarter. Just how important is that to see the growth in this unit from being here last year to seeing now this team this year? Oh, I think it's very important. We learned to finish games, and that's what we did today. We came out, we knew that we weren't playing our best, and we knew that at some point, whether that be third quarter, fourth quarter, that we needed to step on them the way they stepped on us the first half. So I think that's a huge growth, and it's very important for our team. For you guys to stay aggressive, even down 14, get to that free throw line and go into the fourth quarter with some momentum and that refusal to give up, just what does that say about the tenacity of your team and the refusal to give up regardless of what the scoreboard says? Uh, it shows that we're relentless no matter what the score is. We're going to come out and battle each possession. Uh, we know what we have to do to get the job done, and we didn't show that in the first half. So, like I said, we came out and we were relentless. To have so many contributions yourself, obviously Jalen Amber had points, Cynthia had rebounds, Leah too had a good game, good to get Tasha back in the lineup. Just to have so many contributions, just how nice is that to just get that team win? Uh, it's, it's, really, it, it's really good. Um, it's the first win of the season, so we, we, know, what we, we know what we have to do to, to get wins like that. It's going to be a battle every night, so um, it's really a confidence booster. Um, yeah. 20 turnovers today on the downside. Just did you notice any common themes with those miscues, something you guys can maybe utilize and practice to maybe get back on the drawing boards in that end? Yeah, we just have to um, be able to handle the pressure they, they send at us, um, and that's with each game. So uh, just working on uh, knowing where, trusting that the next person is going to be available and knowing where that person is going to be available. And just like I said, handling the pressure with ball handling and that and that type of thing. You guys were did a good job getting the win, not just in getting the win, but also avoiding snowballing losses. Obviously, the loss a couple games ago, you guys had such a strong first half last game. It could maybe last year's team would have found a way to make excuses or found a way to lose this game. Just what does it say about the resiliency to make sure that mistakes don't pile up and you guys get one on the right side of things? Um, we, we, we know what we experienced last year, and we definitely don't want to go through that again. So uh, we come out with a different attitude, knowing that they're going to go on their runs, we're going to go on our runs. So we just have to battle, like I said, each possession. Dayshanette, did you have a message for your teammates after you fouled out? I just told them to go get it. <laughs> I mean, we worked this hard. We worked hard the second half, and there's no reason they should, have, they should take that away from us. So uh, I let them know that, that I'll be cheering for them and just to go get it. Can you talk about that bench energy that the whole team has brought this whole season in an empty stadium? Oh, we definitely need that. We don't have fans and we I love to see like we love to see that like even though some people don't get the same amount of time as everyone as other people that they're still engaged in the game and I think that's very beneficial to know that like the bench the benches like we don't have fans so of course like the benches the benches are fans. <laughs> you you got a chance to sit out and maybe learn some things watching this team last year and Obviously, you didn't play the first game this year. Just what did you make of your, just your progression and learning from either your peers or just seeing what's on the court and letting the game come to you? Yeah, it was definitely hard sitting out a whole year without playing basketball. I learned a lot of stuff being on the bench and seeing, like, what we got to work on. And I was going practice and working on that. So I'm, I'm happy that uh, I can play this year and you know, contribute my, with my team. When you see your teammates going all out, you had 11 rebounds today. Just how much do you want to match that and maybe get this team the next step on the next play, whatever the case may be? Um, I saw, like, when my team is, like, hyped, I, I, I want to contribute. Like, like last game, I had five fouls, and I, I couldn't contrib contribute to my team. So today, I was, I was, I was like, I'm going to go get all the rebounds I can. So that was my goal today. How much growth have you seen this team from this team just watching everything unfold last year and then down 14 today and you guys turn this game around and it's a big win and it's your first win in conference play? Yeah, we're, we're definitely growing. We've become more mature and like we can handle pressure more, especially with Jayla Everett like being a transfer. She, she can experience and like help the team more. 
So, yeah. What were the huddles like or the conversations like between you all early on? And what was it that maybe allowed you guys to flip the switch today? We, we, we started off flat. So after, after the half, after the second half, we, we started hyping each other. Like we, we, we were like, we can't fall. So we, yeah, we were talking like hyping each other to continue playing. Like we can't stop. Uh, defensively for you guys, you guys held them to four of 19 in the fourth quarter. So you weren't just scoring. You also were de defending well. Just how good was it to get that good defensive performance after maybe things didn't go as well the last game on that end? It feels good because, like, everything starts from defense. If we can defend and get a stop, then we can score easily.